Welcome to part number 23 of Need for Speed Underground. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're doing these next set of races. And we've unlocked the Acura Integra Type R in the previous segment, and let's go ahead and get this bad boy. Hell yes. Whoa. Really? The top speed is that much less? Um, okay. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Screw it. Let, let, let's, let's go with it. For some reason, the Ford Focus has way more top speed, but... Whatever. Let, let's, let's just use this car. Oh, this is AutoZone. So it's a, it's a unique vinyl. Let's put the Rose one back on. Let's leave it black. Alright, so kick out that tail. I know, I just writes myself even more. By getting myself an Integra. Alright, here we go. And let's see how this car drifts. Oh no, this is, okay. This is a good drift car so far. I heard from Arthur in chat that the other day that Arc 7 is the king of drifting in this game. Ooh, nearly hit the wall. Almost lost all that momentum. Dude, look at the score already. 32,000 compared to 5,000 from the other cars. Yeah, the R7 is always good, but I'm ending this particular Let's Play with the Honda S2000. That's the last car I'm using. And I know there's a Skyline, I know there's the RX-7 towards the end of the game, but I like the S2K so much. Damn it. Talk about screwing up my, my run here. Ooh, nice switchback. Nice transition. Holy crap, dude, this Integra is the bomb with drifting. Nope. Okay. Well, I lost that momentum, but you know what? We have such a massive lead, there's no way we're going to lose. <laughs> D1 champion. Yep, move over James Dean. I know he's not D1, but still. He's like the one of the best drifters in the world right now. Boom! That's how it's done. Nice. Level 3 window tint. Alright, so next up is... Ooh, Chad is back. Number 7 in rank sprints is on the line. You got zero chance. Alright, Sam Hornish. So I guess I have zero chance of getting it, even though we've already beat Chad so many times. I do love his Celica, though. Ooh, a shortcut. Sam Hornish. <laughs> yeah, dude, he does look like Sam Hornish. That was a sham. You know, the Focus has way more acceleration, although the, I mean, top speed. The acceleration is pretty much on par, but the handling on this Integra is amazing. A 
Like seriously, this car has so much grip, it's incredible. It's a shame that this particular Integra never made it into the sequels. Like the RSX did, which is the second gen or whatever generation Integra, technically, but still, like this one was always my favorite one, the DC5. Well, I almost had a near miss, except I touched the truck, sadly. I'm seriously trying to rack up all these style points. Okay, how much more do I have to go? Oh, past the construction site. And then we can use the rest of our nitrous. <laughs> that freaking cone. I like how it was just casually following me. And just like that, we end up winning. Chad's like, Ooh, number seven spot, impossible for you to get. And look what just happened. Six second win. Eat a dick, Chad. I know. <laughs> the freaking cone. All right, and then there was one. Yes, game. I know how a lap knockout race works. Ooh, it's the Supra that we did the, um, <laughs> you're going to make it a hashtag now. That's the Supra we did that one after touch takedown with. Oh, thank you, Mr. Impreza, for giving us a boost there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Mikhail. Well, that was a really sloppy transition out of the tunnel, but hey, we didn't manage to hit any cars, so we still keep our near-miss bonuses, I think. Yep, we do. Just use up a little bit of nitrous. want to build a little bit of a cushion between myself and the second place car, just in case... Just in case I manage to screw up again. Yep, like that. But hey, I have that cushion, so I still keep the lead. Back to the lead. <laughs> oh my god. It's a good thing that I backed out of that because who knows, who knows what the race would be like at the end. Damn it. Now we still, oh, never mind. I thought we tapped the truck. Dude, the lead is increasing. We have a 23 second lead over second place. Imagine like the rubber banding kicks in now and like imagine he just somehow gets the deficit down to like a second by the last corner. That'd be pretty funny and irritating at the same time. Pretty much. <laughs> he ended up killing himself. <laughs> the super did a Mustang maneuver. Ooh, we've unlocked a new unique vinyl. A Koenig vinyl, Nitrous Express, more money. Ooh, the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Oh yeah, what's next? Friendly competition. Eh, we might as well do this one. This is it, bro. Now 
we really get to see who's king. Oh man, you think you've got a super street machine? There's a photographer here from Super Street Mag, and if you impress him, then you get on their cover. He says, do you think you're going to be the king? Yo soy el rey, wey. I just said, I'm the king, homie, or way. I don't know, way. I don't know. <laughs> Jose is back, pretty much. He's back again. He must have Alzheimer's or something, because he forgot about that ass whooping from earlier. I know, that's a Boondocks quote, but it's so hilarious when Stink Meter says it. So guys, should we trade in our Integra for an Eclipse? What do you guys think? Is that a good idea? Like I said, we're going to finish the game off with the S2000 regardless, so I'm just trying to use as many different cars as possible before that car gets unlocked. Depending on the stats. Okay, we'll look at the stats in the next segment. Sick drifting, bruh. By the way, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> I wasn't trying to drift around the corner, but somehow this Integra is able to do that, even though it's front-wheel drive, because need for speed logic. I know, dude. That that drift that drift was dope. And the best part, it was all unintentional. Yeah, dude. I'm honestly liking this Integra a lot. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Zero beat. Damn it. I thought I had more room. Now we gotta earn our multiplier back. Alright, halfway there. No big deal. weird how the cinematic camera kind of comes in late. It's really weird. Oh my god, I thought I died there. Jose's in last. <laughs> Yeah, all that crap he was talking about, being the king of circuit racing. Okay, final lap. Let's be careful. Coming up here. Ooh, that was nice. Leapfrogging over two cars. Hit the nitrous a little bit, see if we can gain more speed. Eh, yeah, that's kind of a bad idea. We tapped the wall, at least we didn't like completely crash into it. We didn't destroy our own race, uh, Sergio Perez style, which is good. See, the whole style points thing is a risk reward factor. It's like, risk yourself r losing the race, but the reward is unlocking stuff much earlier. Like all the paints and stuff, like all the vinyls. Well, that's it for me, dog. I'm done. I'm out of this. Rage quit. Okay, we unlocked the new vinyls and 
Most importantly, Jose rage quits. Wicked, dude. You got your ride onto Super Street. Yep. There's our nice ride. All right. So next time on Need for Speed Underground, more events, and we'll check the stats of the Eclipse.